when you really get down to it, the the discourse between the Western RPGs versus JRPGs, the argument over which is better, basically amounts to Western fanboys gushing about how like oh these games give you so much more complexity you can have a character creator and you can make your own choices let's let's not talk about the story or the setting or the characters or the environments or the art or any real gameplay mechanics oh you could you could be whoever you want to be even though it fundamentally changes nothing like oh look at all the changes uh, all the decisions you can make even though they change absolutely nothing oh but it's like D&D, which is the most popular thing ever. No, it's not. Like D&D is completely irrelevant. I had someone in the comment section try to insist that like uh, Zelda was like influenced by Dungeons and Dragons, but uh, I have confirmation now that that was not the case at all. D&D did not become uh, popular in Japan until after Zelda had already released. So don't give me that crap, you know, that that Miyamoto, that like Yuji Horii, that like, you know, um uh Sakaguchi, that all those like fantasy RPG guys were primarily motivated by dra uh, Dungeons and Dragons. That is not true at all. They looked at like the inferior product, you know, they looked at like Ultima and they just they knew they could do better than that. So these guys, they they created the greatest video game franchises ever. You know, Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy, The Legend of Zelda, and nobody ever looked back at Ultima aside from Spoony fanboys who thought he was making some great deep point about the history of role-playing games, right? The reality is Final Fantasy was more popular for a reason, right? It did have better artwork. It did have better storylines. It did have better characters. It did have better gameplay, right? Anybody who seriously argues that all you do in RPGs is is walk around and press the A button whenever you get into a, a combat encounter uh, is just simply exposing themselves as someone who has never played any of these games, right the attempts at trying to downplay the relevancy of jrpgs you know their influence over all of video games not just the rpg genre you know uh downplaying their innovations their storytelling conventions their uh, influences on the industry like uh their la their enduring legacy and popularity right even now you know 30 years later i'm playing final fantasy 6 you you won't do that uh you won't catch me doing that for ultima you know, I don't care, like, how cool Ultima 4's morality system is. Like, it's not as good as what, like, uh, Final Fantasy 1 did. You know, the reality is the Japanese games are simply better. And everyone knows it. Outside of a few crying man-child New Vegas fanboys, right? These guys played New Vegas when they were boys and continue playing it now that they're grown women right these men will sit here and try to tell you that like ah oh, fallout new vegas it's it's a really good rpg guys oh man look at all these factions and all these things you can do in it but like the the environments are washed out and boring. Oh, that doesn't that doesn't matter. That's that's a that's a reflection of the setting. But like the combat isn't good. Oh, it's way better than Fallout 3s. But like you know, I'd rather play I don't know like Fire Emblem or something. Oh, like again, Fallout New Vegas is not impressive. Okay, people like to say it is because you know much like uh, say The Last of Us or uncharted there wasn't a whole lot else on the playstation 360 to play at that time but you know fallout new vegas is just the example i go to when i want to point out just how inferior western rpgs are because what exactly does new vegas do that's so spectacular right nobody can explain it like, all anybody can do is just say that, like, oh, it's New Vegas. It's not as bad as Fallout 3. And what it, But in reality, like, you know, like, you just have so many other real RPGs you could be playing instead. Like, you could be playing, you know, Shin Megami Tensei. You could be playing Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest or Pokemon, 
right? Like, why exactly would I play New Vegas over any of those superior Japanese RPGs? The reality is that, like, nobody sane would do it. Like, the only reason people prefer Western RPGs, you know, junk like Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, Mass Effect, Jade Empire, uh, Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind, um, uh, the Ultima games, Wizardry. Like, the only reason people play those games or even care about them or even know what they're what they're called is because they're simply too xenophobic to accept that Japanese games are and always have been better than what the West has produced. Like, this is the fundamental issue of why gamers are incapable of acknowledging Nintendo as being superior to the competition. Because Japanese is for, Japan is a foreign country, and foreign is bad. You know, we can't let those nintendo consoles into our country and take away take away games uh sales from our, our american games so we're going to set up this vast array of like conspiracy theorists and like analysts and game judos that will that will try and like slander japanese rpgs and that has been going on for a very very long time uh most prevalently i think during the mid-2000s right you had like a lot of guys at bioware coming out speaking out against this like oh uh, we make real rpgs you know uh, final fantasy isn't a real rpg you know okay but um uh... Why <laughs> did you develop Mass Effect then? Why did you develop a third person shooter? Like why did they get why did they strip away the RPG elements more as you went through the game? Like I'm not even sure like Anthem can be considered a uh, a proper RPG like even from the western stand. So like again the double standard from these people is just laughable, right? It's it's appalling. It really is. Like and it really is warranted, I think, by sheer jealousy of what the Japanese have created because no ja no RPG has ever come close to the relevancy of Final Fantasy, right? People can cry all they want about Baldur's Gate 3, but Larian was fired. They're never going to produce another one. You know, Hasbro is going down the toilet. Like it's possible that like um this series is going to be limbo for another 25 years. Meanwhile, we're going to get banger after banger of, like, Japanese RPGs every month for, like, probably until the end of time. You know, we have, like, Trails of Cold Steel. We have, like, we have Yeast. You know, we have all this, like, superior gaming stuff. Like, even Zelda is a proper RPG at this point, right? Uh, when it wasn't traditionally, right? Like, what exactly are Western RPGs doing that makes them so spectacular and, like, better than our, our Japanese RPGs? Absolutely nothing. Like, there is nothing at this stage that Western RPGs do better than Japanese RPGs, right? They don't have the open worlds. They're not in HD anymore. They don't – well, I mean, uh, they don't have the visual edge anymore is what I mean. You know, back in, like, the PS360 era, you had, like, a the lower quality – japanese games versus like the the higher quality western ones but visually and and so, and like over the past several years it's become more apparent that like the japanese have been catching up and uh the westerns western the evil westerners no longer have the uh the edge and visual graphics so like what exactly makes these games good the reality is nothing like when you get right down to it western rpgs cannot compete whatsoever.